Uh, my name is Luke Thornton. I work at our Harper location, our Harper factory. We have two factories, one in South Dakota and one in Harper, Kansas. And I am the uh, sales manager down in Harper. And here we are showing the Horsch Maestro. Um, we have a partnership with Horsch Germany and we are actually building all of these uh, units here in the U.S. We've been testing now for several years and the first uh, production availability will be ready for next season. We have uh, electronic meters so you can uh, vary your seed delivery on the fly um, we have, with hydraulic down pressure on the low units. Um, we have large tires that help to eliminate compaction. Uh, also we have a weight transfer system where we can actually take the uh, weight away from the cart and put it on our uh, toolbar. Um, the liquid system comes standard uh, as part of the package. Um, we have a universal row cleaner mount so you can mount whichever one you'd like and also uh, a universal closing wheel set up so you can put what you like there as well. Okay. This is uh, typically going to hit our uh, larger producers. Um, in our field trials, we've been able to hit higher speeds than uh, traditionally are available with other machines. Yeah, it's more of a larger product offering available to our dealer network. And it's not just this uh, Maestro. We also have uh, no-till seeders, minimum till seeders. Uh, one exciting product that we're just uh, introducing is the Pronto NT for no-till and it would be a 40 foot wide machine uh, that would have a 340 bushel cart and um, very, uh, very nice machine. They've done very well with in Europe and we're redesigning it for the US or North American market also. One big advantage that we've noticed in our testing of this Maestro machine is that uh, we've had extremely accurate seed spacing, um, that we've had plenty of uh, third-party people test for us. Um, the metering unit is very accurate at higher speeds. You know, if you get into the right field conditions, we've been running at nine, up to nine miles an hour pretty easily, and we've been able to control the seed well enough that in the furrow, uh, we actually have very accurate spacing at that higher speed. It's a huge advantage of this machine.